Hello there, people of the internet, and welcome to session two of One Piece D&D Grand Line Adventures. I came up with a name after we did that first session, so yeah. But in our new episode, which is now, we have our fifth and final member. Introduce yourself. Hello. Uh, my character's name is Jack. What's your He's, name? Uh, Jin. Yeah, Jin. I mean, it says layout, but... Yeah, I know. You gotta get a note of your voice. But also, you're the only non-American. Quite, quite the He's opposite, the... actually. You said you're the only non-American. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, describe your character. I, I, he's a... What do they look like? What do they well, wear? Well, he's a human. He has blue hair, blue eyes, and wears a blue trench coat. And he uses a sword. He's the one who's been passed out on the ship the past session. Yeah, he likes to sleep. <laughs> okay, so should we hop right into it? We should. And last, but, but do recap for last time. What happened? Okay, last time you guys made it to an island that I totally remember the name of. You you met a kind man named Caden who was a swordsman. And the next time you saw him after you guys split up, he was being tortured and about to be publicly executed by a lieutenant of the marines named the lieutenant nail lieutenant um, man Caden was loved by all the people of the island so they all rallied and mobbed just to get slaughtered by said marines and then you guys helped you guys and Caden defeated the marines and i think you were about to leave the island most likely we're I don't need to leave. Because your log pose is set to the next island. Okay. Okay. Ah, my arms. It still hurt. Phantom pains. Okay, crazy <laughs> battle. Let's go. We need, to get, we need to get back to the ship. We need to get back to the ship. I need... I need to go... Experiment. And replaced all the all the blood in my body right now. Yeah, you might want to do that. that you might want to okay. like hey. stink it some water. Okay. And I don't mean that in that sense. Okay, as you guys are departing to the dock, Caden is saying goodbye to all of his islanders that he cares for, and they're all giving him a send off. They they're trying to like keep him there. They don't really want him to go, but. You're like, I have to go. I have to and go. And you guys make it to the ship, and you see your fifth crew member. Oh, hey, ship. look! Jack's awake, finally, from his mini-coma. <laughs> I swear to God. We, I... And don't judge me, I need my sleep. You sleep too much. That's my business, not yours. You were asleep. I've tried. You were asleep for understand. literally a full week. It's like a bear. Look, fighting, <laughs> look, fighting mar a whole marine base takes a lot out of you. When did that happen? Uh, Are you why we have a bounty on us? We have a bounty? Apparently. <laughs> Neat, that means more strong people are going to come. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Axia, get on the boat. And... Okay. Get on the boat. Why you say so aggressively like I did something wrong? Get on the boat. <laughs> wait, why did, wait, why did you... Why are you so disappointed? It makes sense. You all, okay, you then. All then. Jesus. Carrying the Benji mobile behind. All of the islanders are waving goodbye at, by the docks. You all, you all wave and you make way to the next island. Whoever is uh, navigating the ship Roll me a uh, intelligence check, I guess. Thirteen. Okay, good enough. You follow the log pose, 
for a few hours. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're on the ship? I am tinkering, but also Axia, come here, come to my workshop on the ship. Come here, come, come. <laughs> come here. Go, 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 go here. What? Axia, what do you need? Yeah. You do not comp seeming seemingly do not understand that my, that metal objects fired at the speed of sound kill people. Oh, I I, I know. So here is rubber bullets. Oh, okay. I I made some out of some rubber lining I found. I grab the bullet, put it in the chamber, aim at his leg. God, okay. <laughs> if you I touch the gun and dismantle it. My God! <laughs> no, I, I have to. I have to know it works. <laughs> so Benjamin's his hand goes purple and he touches your gun, and there's like a few like metal, uh, metal pipes, and there's like a wood piece of wood. Yeah, it just it just falls down into the pipes, wood, a little piece of flint that these flintlock rifles are. Like some like gears. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know the components of a gun. So, okay, Axia, these what? These bullets. You use them when you don't want to kill people, and then we'll be fine. You won't be murdering anyone anymore. This is why I need to test them out. You don't need to test them out. Just trust me. It's rubber. You can so see it's a bouncy bullet, ball. The rubber bullets will do one damage plus your Dex mod. Yeah, okay, we just like uh, I think four damage at most. Yeah, four. There. So does anyone else want to do anything? That's fine. Gotta sneak off and shoot somebody else. I mean, you can. also Axia, come here. Yes. I've been tinkering with something. Put this in your ear. I, As he hands I, I, you like a little. Metallic looking object that's ear sh roughly ear shaped. I would just look him in the eye and be concerned by it. Listen, I've been experimenting, and this should work something like transponder snails, but purely technological. Meaning, we can't get tapped by other transponder snails. Yeah. Plus, it'll help us communicate if we ever get separated. Uh, uh, okay. You need pussing it in her ear. He presses a button, you just hear static. That? That? <laughs> <laughs> As he's just laughing. Hey, okay, anything else? I got my pistol. You hear the laughing in your ear as well. You can How tell much I'm... range does this have? Uh, that depends on Bubba. I took, um, I have a new item and I'm Bacon is basically, um, basically earpieces. Probably like, uh, 120 feet. Mm -hmm. What's the actual, hold up, what's the actual range on the earpiece? The message is 120, and that's what I was going off of. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that should work too well. It should work well enough. While you guys are doing this, Caden is just is like meditating with his swords on his lap. Uh, Moan is navigating. I guess you're also being like the helmsman <laughs> and like steering the ship and stuff. As you're steering, you hear a, you hear a muted explosion and then cackling laughter. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? I am. I am sleeping. I'm rather concerned okay. about all this. Jack, what are you doing? Uh, Jack decided to continue his nap. <laughs> okay. So uh, Jack and Fuller are sleeping in their chambers. Mona steering. Axia and Benjamin are messing around. I'm experimenting. I'm things. I'm essentially a t right now. He's trying to make something. That, that's something that's explosive because it exploded on him. And he's like, progress. You're gonna lose your finger one day. No, I won't. 
So you guys travel for your first day. Anything you guys want to do on your second? Do we have a fishing rod? This is not going to be Nakahara Dragon. Oh, yeah, probably not. You probably have a fishing rod. Okay, I try to fish. Sure. Well, roll, roll a oh, roll roll a survival oh. check. Actually, roll a 1d100. One percentage die. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay, roll a strength check. Uh, We're in the grand line. You might have just pulled up a sea king. Open. Sheet. <laughs> oh. Sheet. Strength. Okay. Five. So after like twenty ish minutes you finally get a tug on your rod. Oh, I regret saying that. Okay. Yeah, Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you try to pull back and you sense that if you keep pull you sense that it's very big and you try to keep pulling and then the fishing rod kind of just snaps in two. But Why'd you break Axia? <laughs> I will try to grab a large fish. He hears the snap and just runs out of his work. What did you break? <laughs> what did you mess up? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just try to get a fish. It tugged on my rod. It was so strong. It was stronger than I could handle. I hate you. We're on a caravel class ship. It is tiny. Yeah, it is rather small. You you have a point. Axiom? Yeah. Just stop. Did you make me another special rod? No. I made you one because okay. you asked? No. It's a favorite. Sit down. <laughs> sit in the corner and think about what you did. Just go sit down. Just go sit down. <laughs> I. What am I, a child? Yes. Even though you're How older, old are you? I am barely 18. How <laughs> old are you? Yeah, I, mean, I know. Older doesn't mean more mature. Why don't you sit down? Go, go back to your room and, and go, go back to your work and stuff. <laughs> you really want to do this? You really want to do this, old lady? Old? Old, you're older than me. You want to do this? You want to mess with me? Oh, fine. Oh, little boy. You're never getting anything else from me. In fact, I'm not fixing your rifle. So, ha! Ah! He just walks back As down. you guys are arguing, Mona pipes up, and she's just like, both of you shut it and sit down. Uh, he, he started this. You know what? I grab one of the pieces that is actually his rifle that I dismantled. Well, I, I just I held it on because I was going to repair it. Not anymore. <laughs> eh. I throw a pipe into the ocean. <laughs> I jump after it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh um, my god. This is like... dexterity check, I guess? <laughs> this is like the scene in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, where he gives Weevil his... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was exactly it. Okay, you jump off and you try to catch it midair and you just completely miss. No. Uh, roll an acrobatics or athletics check. Let's see if you could swim fast enough to get back on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 14. You barely make it to the boat. Well, it matters. Mona, do you want to slow down a little bit? Mona, don't slow down. <laughs> okay. The ship slows a little bit, and uh, you get managed to get back on the boat with your, uh, with your uh, barrel of your gun. So, Axia, you learned a lesson? Let's give it a death stare. Don't talk back to your captain. Now go sit down. What mother gave you this gun? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I didn't ask. Fuck you. Uh, I don't like you okay, anymore. So after a while, you guys, you guys, Mona yells, and you guys, you guys all look out on the ship, and you see land approaching, the next island. Buddy boy, you land. 
Uh, wait until you guys find the dock and you dock the ship. Man, that's very convenient. This island has a dock. Most wait, islands do almost, have a dock. It's almost as if people park their ships here. I it's so almost as if people live here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few small boats, but you do notice one much larger boat. What does it look like? That's not a good sight. Well, that doesn't it's, look ominous. It doesn't, it doesn't really have any, like, markings or anything. Like, there's no Jolly Roger or Marine. What's our boat look like? like? A small wooden it's boat. It's basically just like a small little basic raft. No colorful design. And it's not a raft. It's not like a small like a ship. A little ship with no real bait and just plain wood and some is it, scorched is it like marks. The, yeah. Like the Going Merry or something. Yes. Yeah, same. yeah, it's basically like the Going Same sized. So, are you guys gonna go explore the island or are you just gonna stay on the ship? Or... I get on and into the Benji Mobile and then I hide it. Okay, where are you hiding it? I do, well, I put it put, like next to, like pretty much up against the boat. I put an ink. I drop its anchor, and then I drop the Benji has an anchor. I connect it. I connect its anchor to the ship's anchor, so it can't be stolen. Okay. How do you do it? Easy enough. Magic. Connecting. Yeah. It just just does, man. Yeah, good point. How do you? I don't. Magnets. Like, well, see, the thing is. I pull out a device. A magnet, literally. <laughs> a magnet lock. A magnetic lock. Oh. Good. Okay. Sure. Just, just trust, I have bullshit technology, trust. Um, okay, sure. I literally That's have a raid together. suit. <laughs> You kind of touch the anchor and you kind of lose feeling in your body a little bit because it's a little bit wet. That's not how devil fruits work, Bobo. That's exactly how they work. No, it's, it's a not. It's an anchor, okay? How the hell do we have... You know what? I'd probably dismantle <laughs> that shit if it was sea stone. You... I can't, though. Can't. Melt it, though. Yep, yeah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> anyway... Okay, I'll say that you can secure the Benji Mobile. Make sure no one steals it. But that's all I want to do. It's my precious. What are you guys doing now? <sighs> okay, gang, head count. We got Fuller. We got Pomona. <laughs> we have Axia. We got Jack. <laughs> Where's Caden? Is he here? Yeah, Caden's here. Caden's like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm here. Okay, head count completed, everyone. We're going to civilization. So, keep a low profile. We're probably going to find a bounty poster, maybe. If those are already issued because of what we did on that island. So, just keep a low profile and everything should be good. Okay? Okay. And then we just walk into town, I guess. Okay. We'll look for you town. Guys, you guys go to town, but there's not really too many people about. Actually, oh, it's kind of strange. There's no one about, really. Was there a, even, like, a town visible from the dock? A what? Was there a town was visible a from the dock, or was it just, like, a roadway we found? And we just yeah, followed? The town right next to the dock. It's a small island. Okay, very small island. Got it. Like, like small, small. Like, basically, the town is the entire island. Okay, so it's like There's a SpongeBob like island, like SpongeBob island, but bigger with this town on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you don't really see anyone about. You see a few people walking towards the center of the town. That's weird. But that's about it. You don't see any like. Anyone in their stalls or shops? Actually, what's their supplies looking like? Wait, who, 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 keeps, who, who, who keeps checking the food? Who's? Do we have a chef? You don't have a chef. I don't question. I just eat the food that I find. I get given. I eat. 
Oh no, I am able to cook. Uh, 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 okay, next order. We need to find a chef. <laughs> and a musician. No, 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 no musician. It's not this most important one. So we saved the most important one for last. Are we getting musicians the most important? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, sure. We need to keep up our morale. We need to find... Hey, wait, wait. Caden, can you sing? No. Can you do Not anything really besides Slash? Um... You cook some pretty decent food? Yeah, I can, I can cook meat. Okay, you'll be Just our temp, you'll be our you'll be our temporary chef. Just meat. That's you, you, you guys had my cooking. It was very good. If you recall, it wasn't the best. It was it was good enough. It was average. It was kind it of was like meat, with like no seasoning or anything. Yeah, that's pretty much what Luffy eats on the regular. He's raw too. True. <laughs> That's concerning. You know what? We need to find... We need to find a musician and a chef and a helmsman. And we need, we need to find we need to find people to help us out. We can't, we can't stay a crew of five forever. Yeah. We have a doctor. We have me. I'm an elite. I'm the captain man, but I also can repair the ships. I'm like the captain and the ship, right? And the inventor, the gadgeteer. And then Bad we have here. Who needs more people? We, need we have Jack. He can he can slash people. He cuts. I cut very good. And then we got Axia, our sniper. And oh, idea. Then we got Mona, our close range fighter and navigator. Not really well rounded. Well, we are, we're but not. we're missing like the most important one. We don't have a food person. I mean, yeah, that's enough about this. We're in the town. Yes, that's true. But does no one like my nutrient things? I mean, your mm -hmm. nutrient pills make us live, but no, they taste like shit. Yeah, 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 fair enough. I know it tastes <laughs> I... like a brick. I have one that I tried adding cherries, but it just, like, really turns my face red. I should Maybe know. A cherries. brick exploded on me once when I was experimenting, and its dust went into my face and mouth, and it was... It tasted bricky. That's all I can say. <laughs> tasted bricky. Uh, well, I guess not everything tastes like chicken. Was it a white brick? No. No, it wasn't a white oh. brick. It was a freaking... You know, it was, it was a red brick. My walls were made of red bricks. Okay. Anyway. Enough of this. Stop questioning me. <laughs> and I'm not talking about bricks. Let's uh, just. Oh, let's we'll, we'll over that. Yeah. What, what, what were you question. insinuating? Yeah, I think I she's a bigger. I think she's a bigger criminal than we realize. I have yet to break law or that no, accidental I, war crime. I'm sure you have What's a war crime? Secretly, secretly <laughs> act as Pablo Escobar. <laughs> no, this is, I, yeah. war crimes don't exist in One Piece. Like, the Geneva Convention isn't a thing. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure yeah. some form of them do, but we just don't know about them. Yeah, yeah but Actually, I mean, we do know, we do know one of them, because Luffy did it. Them. He burnt down the flag. Yeah, the, the, the only thing the war crimes are is involving, like, burning down the flag of a world government, attacking a government official... Like a world government or a tenemy beat, though. That's it. Those are just kind of laws. Yeah, those are just laws. There's no war crimes. <laughs> so I've done nothing. Hey, what are you guys doing in the town? You, you've still broken the law. You know what? I've yet I'm going to go look for a, a, store, a general store for like supplies. Okay. Do you, you find a general store? You try the doors, they're locked. What's no one the seems name to be inside. of the store? <laughs> Very general. Very general. Is it made out of bricks? White or bricks. Red bricks? White, white bricks? Yes, red bricks. 
Lubrics? Berries general. One brick, two fish. Two, two. <laughs> What's with the bricks? Question. Why is the story not open? <laughs> do you have the one fish, two fish song? Do you have just game the fish every, everyone in the town is somewhere else. Yeah. One brick, two brick. Red brick. Blue you brick. just see the occasional person walking hey, by. Walking hey, you, person. 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 you, hey, I'm talking to you. They look hey. at you and their face looks completely like... It looks dead, almost. Oh, what happened to you? Eh. You guys should get to the center of the town before it's too late. Okay. And he just keeps walking. Okay. Okay. If we go to the center, there might be a strong person there. Um, uh, you know <laughs> what? I'm down there, psychopath. You're right. Let's go to the center of town. Hell yeah. Maybe Let's I'll go. find Barry. Let's you know, I can get one stuff of these from days, him. You're gonna like get a nickname, Jack the something, Jack the slasher, maybe. <laughs> you, well, Mona, you see, strong people are fun to fight against. Yeah. Also, I, I walk up to floor. What should I do if I start hearing voices? Go to a mental doctor. I I only do physical stuff, man. Uh, okay, so, so I'm hearing a voice tell me to throw a brick at. I hear I... voices all the time. Kaden says. Uh, yeah, but Katie, you're uh, different. You got the, um, the listening to the small things. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You got the hearing of small things. Was it um, the sound no, of many I, things? I, I, just hear, I just hear people's souls. Yeah, 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 that, that thing. I, I think yours is different than whatever Axia has. Axia is just a, a mystery beyond our understanding. And I, I, it's like it could be somewhere. a spirit in my body. No. Maybe that's why I'm so... Sure. Sure. That's weird. And Kane just starts walking. Yeah, I guess we should just get to the town center. Yeah. 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 Okay, as you guys get close-ish, you see a big tent in the center of the town. It's white and red striped. Is it Zombozo's big show? Who's Zombozo? Wait, oh... It just clicked. <laughs> it just clicked for what paper said. <laughs> what is Zombozo? It's a Ben 10 reference because they all yeah. look dead inside. In Ben 10, there is a clown who would steal oh. their emotions. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it all it literally all just kind of clicked so, all at once. You guys get close enough to the the tent, and outside you see you see two people with who look like clowns. Riding on tricycles, juggling balls at the entrance. And you see everyone, you see like hundreds of people just walking into this. Like the entire town is going there. Okay, guess we walk oh, in. Just, it's, it's just clowns, they're not strong. Oh, let's, let's go and let's see what it is. Let's see what this is. Okay, so you guys enter and then find seats and sit down? Yes. Do they have food? Okay, you. No. Oh, that circus doesn't have food. I'm here to listen. A bad okay, one. So you guys sit down, and um, after like 20 minutes or so, when everyone in the entire city is seems like they're there, uh, the lights go dark, and then there's a spotlight in the center. There's like a dirt ring in the center, and you see a man. He's pretty short, and he has a top hat, he wears black, and he's wearing a suit, and he has a cane. And he's like, Welcome to the daily performance of my circus. Please enjoy. <laughs> he walks off, and then the, two more the clowns let him in the circles. Huh? What's the circus called? You don't know, he just said my circus. And then two clowns go in the center where I'm in the circus. Unicycles. This time, one's juggling swords, one's juggling bombs. And they just kind of do a few circles. It's dangerous. And then the big lights come back on. And you see what you couldn't see before in the center, the clowns exit. And you see two elephants. Oh, elephant. An elephante. I'd, 
tied to each of the elephants is a rope, or actually a chain. And the chain is attached to a man in the center. He's blindfolded, and he looks like he's gagged. And then there's two people riding on the elephants, and they each slap the elephant. And the man just starts getting torn limb from limb in half. Like everyone at the surface, they still look dead. Like, they don't seem to have any reaction. And then they just start cheering. Like, it's like enthusiastic. Like, their faces are still dead. They're just like deadly clapping and cheering. Should we do something? And then next, you see a clown with flaming swords. And there's a wheel with, it's like a dartboard kind of. And he just starts throwing swords at the board. But instead of missing uh, the man, he just impales him uh, with like eight flaming swords. And you hear screams. And his body is burnt to bits. And he's just slowly right, right, dying. Right. right, that's it. I've seen enough. Jack <laughs> just jumps into the house. I'm just shoot. Laughing. I okay. try to aim to where I can hit both, both the chains. Uh, that, guy's already gone. He's... that guy's already in like five pieces. Oh, okay. I can help him. I can put him out as this red most. Both of them are both really dead. What's the next thing coming up? We're, gonna, we're all attacking the next one happening before it, you know. Okay, the next one, you see a man who's completely naked and that... two lions come out, and there's a man with chains. Who's pulling the lines, and then he releases the chains, and you see a man. He just gets completely devoured by the lions. But, but before that, can Jack try and intimidate the lions? Yeah, but we were going to the lions. We were going to stop that, Bob. I thought you said lines, as in like a line. Oh. Or... Okay, Jack. Did you say can I intimidate the lions? Yeah. How are you intimidating them? Uh, he pulls out his sword and just kind of glares at them with electricity the forming out, coming out of his eyes. Okay. I think they're menacing. Check. Jack uh, jumps down, runs in front of the lions. I pulls aim at the other one. Uh, and then they wait a few seconds and just Benjamin completely go around shoots Jack. shoots a blast and... at one of the lions. You see his little, his wrist, like a little flame launcher, a little bit of flame pops up and then just a Projectile gets launched at one of the lions. Okay, one of the lions gets ignited in fire, and then the lions kind of just run off. Yeah, and it's, it's silent. And the entire building goes silent. Uh... The lights go dark again. You guys are all in the center, I assume. No, I was just what, up what in, I we were just do. up in the crowd. We're shooting. I'm a sniper. I think so Jack's Jack, the only one in the center. center. Yeah, okay. goes all the way to the center. Yeah, Jack's the only one. I didn't really probably join you, Jack. Uh, it's, it's Mona would probably combat. jump in and Caden. Okay, so Caden, Jack, Mona are oh, all. Are you there. down there? Uh, you know what? Sure, I'm down there with them. Okay, so everyone except for Benji and Mona, or not Mona, Benji yeah. and Axia. Axio, should we go down there? Uh, I don't know if that's great. You, know, you stay up here. You have no good ways of fighting. Support us as Benjamin also jumps down there to go back up everyone. And you see the same same short man with the top hat. Big top. A spotlight comes on. And all, or two spotlight comes on. One on one, or three. One on Axia. One on all of you guys. And then one on the circus master. Uh, everyone, put your tokens down. Axia, you're like over here. And then you see this guy. Ah! And out. surrounding him are more clowns on unicycles. <laughs> clowns you know, I'm on unicycles. Surprised. What are they gonna do to us? I'm I'm surprised you didn't go for like the old school. Uh, it it style clown, uh, the original version, whatever that him. You know, know what I'm talking about. about. Bubba, describe, describe it more. What do they look like? Just you know, stereotypical, like red hair, big red hair, but it doesn't look like they have face paint on. It's probably mask. They they have like colored hair. It's kind of like 
Some are in the afro, some are in like buns. Mm. They all have different assortments of weapon. One's juggling axes, one's juggling swords. One's juggling, one's juggling axia. Axes. Not axia. He didn't say axia, he said axes, you And then the circus master pipes up and he's like, Well, well, well. And then he blurts out loud, talking to the audience. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. What do you say that we put an end to these guys for today's show? And then the crowd starts cheering dead again. And then actually... How about we put it into your show, you fake, you murderous Axia, you feel You feel people in the crowd. Still blank dead expressions, but they're grabbing your legs and you get pushed. Yeah, that's why I jumped down. tumble down the rows of seats. Oh and my you're god. Like, you're like on the second row. So you're not say, quite in the center, but you're, we you're just really You're like, thud, like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just like someone falling down the stairs. Oh. Uh, uh, Actually, I, I just clock back in. Oh, I suppose. Pose, everyone, roll initiative. Uh, what up? I just got back. You were thrown down. You just got like sh- a sh- thrown down the stairs. You just went like... <laughs> like you fell down. Like a child trying to go down the stairs but missing a step and just rolling. Oh my. Thra- d- dragging on a natural one in his initiative. Uh, I got 11. Oh yeah, yeah I man. That's because of your ability. I originally got so, 12, but I didn't click the token, so I had to roll again. I got not one. No, I did it 12. Yeah, I thought it was going to count as 12. I can change it to 12? Yeah, that's your actual initiative roll. Yeah. Okay. I was just going to have to reset the thing, though. I, I did change it. Are we yeah, ready gonna have to reset for this grand circus fight? Give me one more second. You know what? My okay. guy's mask. His, his, before, like, he went down in the ring, you see his, like, face mask just pop up, and now he's just uh, pretty much like an all-white, like, metallic-looking mask with, like, purple accents all on the side of the head and eyes, like, a glowing purple, and, like, and there's, like, purple, like, mismatched, like, just wiggly lines all over the face. I don't know if came on. It's just a completely, like, you can't even really make out the details of his face. Just, like, it's a big shape. Oh, Kaden goes first. Yeah, you're don't, DMPC, don't fix, man. Yeah. Don't forget to, uh, yeah, I just broke up. Okay. Yeah, don't forget to make sure his attacks aren't in 3D tags. Yeah, I think, yeah. but I think. Well, I suppose he's just gonna run up and then rage, because there's nothing else he can do. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go. It's, it's the. Kaden okay, just right. runs towards the circus master and the clowns, and he starts not screaming, but he draws his swords. Fuller. Hmm. Do you think Caden has an anger problem? You know, maybe. Do you think that? Mm-hmm. Maybe like no, hearing everyone's soul thing. is not good for your mental health. I know. I would imagine it would be. Okay, well, Caden's gonna get a sword thrown at him by one of the clowns, or two of the clowns. A 19 hit. He takes... Okay, 9 damage. Oh, that was a good roll. You like that, Popo? So the Eve Spirit. Okay. So as Caden is running towards them, a sword just flies and hits him. But the other one he blocks or parries with his swords. And then another axe is going to get thrown at um, Jack and Mona. First one's Jack, second one's Mona. Both miss. They don't hit. Jack. Okay, and they kind of they kind of scramble. How did they throw his axe, Bobo? But they, I mean, they kind of like just ride around on unicycles. They kind of backed up. They stopped juggling one of the one of them through it, and then they just continued to juggle. Okay, good, good. 
Benjamin, your turn. My turn? Hmm. Hmm. What should I do today? Well, or what, I, what should I do today? You know, you mean, what should you do today? What should I do today? Should I do missiles? Lightning? Ex- you asking me, man? You know, I'm feeling like missiles today. You know what? <laughs> I would never understand how you, you, you made this thing that you wear. Don't question my science. It's you German science. science. Don't question you it. Your, you and your science. As he, just, he, he points out his wrist in like Iron Man style, little slots just pop up on his arm, and then just three missiles fly out at the circus master. At the circus master? Okay. Yeah. It's N. Eight. Oh, okay. Oh, 10 damage. Not bad. Okay, the missiles hit. They're not like big explosions, but small explosions. They're not. They're small, they're like small little way. explosions that, you know, just like seek out a target. It kind of throws up his cane and then catches it. And he's still like putting on a show for the audience. Man, this guy's good. Do you want to move or? Not fuller, buddy old pal. I want to stay next to you. Okay. Okay, Jack, it's your turn. Gotta think about what I'm gonna Alright, um how do you check how far you can move again? You can move uh, ruler. Feet. There's the a ruler. Hmm? Yeah. Or you can just oh, the There's a ruler the on the sidebar up below the magnifying glass. For those who don't know, we're using roll twenty to play. Yeah, you can move up to thirty feet naturally, I believe. So six boxes. Yeah. Uh right, well, Jack runs up to this clown. Uh, Okay. And just Look, runs up to one of the clowns the sword draw. And just tries to hit it with his katana. That hits. Okay. So you slash through this this clown juggling swords and he kind of he stops juggling, he all his swords tumble to the ground except for one. And he falls off his unicycle. Is that one pretty hurt? Like, really hurt. And then Caden just yells out, he's like, Don't, don't kill the clown guys. Mona, your turn. Oh, the clown guys are good. He just doesn't want to see them die, which is, I guess, a fair enough response. I mean, he can, like, hear souls, so he can tell if someone's good or not. So maybe this clown guy is controlling the, the little clowns. I, I got nothing. This is a weird okay. day. Why are the clowns? Why, why not, not clowns, like? Why clowns? Why not mimes? That hits. That'd be more terrifying. They're all silently putting us in boxes and throwing us down rivers. Okay. Here. As you, okay, actually, Jack, you noticed this too. As you guys hit the clowns, it seems like all of the clowns they kind of like they start to get dizzy. Huh? I'm drunk. So you drunk. go up to this guy and you punch him, and then all the clowns they kind of like stop juggling and just hold one sword, and the rest just kicks the ground. All the clowns at the same time. Yes, Mona, are you? Do you like being popular? Are you the player of blows? Uh, ten misses, nine misses. Okay. So you hit him one, and then he dodges the other two. Oh, it's your turn. Thinking. Eat crap plan. Or is okay. I quickly go into a bag and take a pop of white pill? Okay. Not blue. Kind of runs flick it up like a coin and then catches it, catch it in your mouth. Yep. He just kind of runs over. Here. I can move that, right? Forty feet of movement. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, oh, my yeah. movement speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I then quickly, like beforehand, take a dagger and just try and swipe at him. Uh, swipe at this guy. That misses. You try to. 
You try to stab him with a dagger, but he blocks it with a sword. It wasn't, yeah. It's a quick swipe. That's all. Actually, yeah, it's your turn. You try to just get something and shake your head, get him back. Actually, I go after the big guy. Do it with his own. Actually, uh, get, get this, uh, I'm just thrown down a fucking flight of stairs as I big aim guy. at the big guy. Hey, 24 plus 2. In. Total damage. Who are you aiming at? Big guy. Uh, uh, big guy, okay. The ringleader guy. Yep. Yeah, okay. So you shoot him in, like, his arm, and he kind of, like, budges back, but he's still, like, putting on a show. And as a bullet I'm going to put my Marco on him. Your Marco? What? But my mar- Hunter's Mark. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, where is it? Favorite Mark. I think that's it. And that's uh-huh. pretty much going to be the end of my turn. Okay. Now it's the circus master's turn. So he throws down his cane. And he like puts his fists together. And you see his muscles, the veins, they just bulge. Like his muscles become way bigger. And like his sleeves are about to rip. Did That's he just juice? Fuller, did he just do what you do? Did he just juice himself? Oh god, he's here. Walker, Walker, did you give him your stuff? They no, they don't work. The floor. And then he says, he's like, Strongest man alive. Or no, he's like, Circus, circus fruit. Strongest man alive. And then Uh-oh. he tries to punch you. Okay. Not oh, that hurts. Oh, great, he's a devil fruit user. Oh, great. Wow. Circus, circus, can he do anything like from popular circus <laughs> acts? What? Oh, that's not good. He can breathe fire! Okay. okay you take uh, 15 damage. Ow. And then he's going to swing again. 12. Does that hit, hit or miss? 12, 12 misses currently. Okay. So he punches you once. And you were kind of like, it really hurts. And he tries to punch again, but this time you duck out of the way. That's Caden's turn. Caden's gonna run up to this circus clown. And he's going to swing his sword once. 20, that hits. Non lethally. So he turns his blade around and he hit him, hits him with the blunt side. Okay, and he knocks him out, and you see that all of the other clowns. Also, just fall unconscious. Wait, he hit and he just all of a sudden fell unconscious? Yes, all of the other clowns fell unconscious. It, it's Wait. probably a hive mind. Kind it of it thing. seems like a hive uh, yeah, mind. He knocked one out and they're all down. Uh, actually, we can move over here and try to hit the Circus Master too with his other sword. Oh, don't let him hit you. He hurts. He swings. That just hits. And does 13 damage. Not bad. So, this, and he slashes the circus master, and you see that his he slashes him through the chest, and he tears his shirt and or his suit. And you see that his muscles are just bulging right now. Alright, JoJo character tease. Oh, wait, Benjamin's turn. Yeah, my turn. <clears throat> Benjamin. My turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try something else. <laughs> Scorching bullet! As just once again, a little bit of little burst of flame pops out on his left arm. And then a little bullet of flame comes flying out at this guy. Next. Two. Two. Okay, he kind of scorch, scorch his chest a bit. Well, dang it, that didn't work. And you see that all the crowd starts booing, but like, 
not enthusiastically at all. What's wrong with everyone in here? They're all like emotionless. Jack, it's your turn. Okay. I suddenly went silent. Why? Just saying the movement thing. So yeah, Jack follows Kane, runs next to this guy, and just hits him with his katana. Okay. So you try to swing at him. But he kind of just flexes his back while you're trying to swing, and your sword just bounces off. What is this Baki character? <laughs> no, no, it's your turn. Is this, is this guy part Hogma? Are you doing both a dagger and an unarmed strike, or just an unarmed strike? Apparently, with Ash's okay. thing, Ash can do both in one attack. Well, the dagger hits, so you like you stab him a little bit, but it doesn't really seem to phase him all that much. You're just like, ah. Oh. Show must go on. Fuller, it's your turn. Recovering right from the punch to the gun he just took, he grabs the red pill, pops it, returns the favor. Okay. The Fuller also just tries to stop, but just like him. Yeah. So you try to swing, but he kind of just catches it, and now it's just two people who are extremely juiced up on strength, just like it's a strength contest basically, but he's winning. God, why? I'm in so much pain. Axia, do you think? Axia, hit the big clown! As you hear static in those words in your ear. You're not that far away from me. I know, but this is much cool. This is oh no, I want to use it. Okay, I made it. Awesome. Really but just, just. Oh yeah, I forgot to give everyone <sighs> their earpieces. Wow, that's a. I put. I got, uh... That's right. Pull on the button, but there's a kind of stack noise. I like, miss fire. It just flies up in the roof. See? Okay, so you see you see you see it. It, and it just bounces off of his muscles again and just starts going upwards. The crowd is still booing. I just told you that I should boo. Okay. So, he, his muscles kind of fade. And then he rears back his head and he says, Circus, circus fruit, fire eater. And then he spits out a stream of fire. At who? At Mona. Mona, does 15 hit? Hey. Doing 10 fire damage. Oh? Okay, so he tries to spit fire, but your body kind of just automatically moves and dodges it. Uh, hold on. I don't think you can attack again. No, ignore the thing I may have just clicked. Nope, it didn't click. Oh, no, he cannot attack again after that. So it's Caden's turn. Caden's going to swing twice. Oh, uh, one of them hits. So he swings once, the Circus Master ducks, but he hits his hat off, and that really makes the Circus Master mad. And then the second one, he kind of just goes for a stab, and hits, dealing, wow, dealing 23 damage. So he stabs him, and it almost goes straight through him. He's looking pissed off, not too hurt. Benjamin, your turn. Oh, fine. Okay. What I shall do will be I raise my left hand and fire again. Nine. I missed. I fired again That's and I missed. Really. That's not going to work twice. And he dodges. 
You know what? Your turn. You're right. I shimmy up a little. What will you do? Why well, everyone go quiet for a minute? Uh, it's Jack. Jack mm -hmm. the Ripper. Not Jack uh, the Ripper. I'm trying to figure out how smites work. Well, just tell me what smite you're using and I can tell you how it works. Well, well you gotta set up uh, these character sheets right when they're set them up. Uh, you're using Thunder Smite? Uh, okay, what does it do? I think it's in the spells. You can just click the little thing. So one okay. so, so roll damage. Roll a normal attack. Roll a normal attack. Roll an attack? Yeah. Yeah. It's added on to an attack and it's 1d8. Yeah. It's a 1d8 of thunder damage. It's, okay. yeah, it's so Your sword starts glowing blue with lightning and it kind of starts zapping around it. You swing, they dodge out of the way, but your sword's still glowing, I think. Isn't that how smites work? It works it's until not, it hits. It's not a smite until it hits. And thunder right. smite yeah. is a bonus that lasts for one minute. But that misses, barely. I fired again, but then I missed. So your sword's your sword still with static with electricity. No, no, your turn. So, but what does that natural one do? Oh, natural one. Okay. Well, the dagger hits and you stab him, and then you try to swing, but he like pushes your arm out of the way with one of his hands, and you accidentally hit Caden. So roll damage. Dealing five damage halved. Two. So two. It hits him, but it it the You kinda of just hit him and there's like a small bruise. But it doesn't hurt too bad. But oh uh, you're fine. No uh, do anything else. Okay, full A your turn. You know, full is gonna again try and return the favor, but Super gut punch him. Gut punch him. <laughs> that time, you actually do punch him in the gut this time. He tries to do the same thing, but he doesn't have the souped up muscles anymore. So you just go straight through his hand and punch him in the gut. <laughs> it kind of wins him oh, for a few seconds, but then he's back to normal. As you, as you hit him and he kind of exhales all of his air, a little bit of fire comes out. I gotta get better at using Back these to things. Uh, well, you guys look like you're having fun. Totally. Yeah. Axia! I'm, oh, I'm, I'm aiming for it. Okay, so your bullet, it kind of just it flies right through That's uh, a Thor and Mona. And like, there's like an inch gap and it just goes straight through the gap. Uh, how much damage is it? 23. 23, holy smoke. Uh, and it, it pierces him right through the shoulder and goes straight through. And you see some blood fly out. And he's kind of like grabbing his shoulder. He's like, ah, damn you. Now it's his turn. Oh God. Okay, so he kind of like bends down. And you see his legs get super jacked, and then he just lunges. Really? And he flies straight through both of y'all and goes straight to Axia. Mommy. So while he's flying, he says, Circus, circus, fruit, human cannon! Okay. And he flies, and then as he's flying, he's gonna try to, he puts his fist together and he's like, Circus, circus, fruit, strongest man! And he's gonna you try to punch him. That misses. Okay, that's his turn. Caden launched himself like a cannon and missed his attack. He's gonna run back over here, short. And he's going to swing twice. One took both of his swords. Uh, one of them hits. Dealing 19. This is this character is so broken right now. Yeah, but he doesn't get stronger. You guys do. So he's 
So he, he slashes him once, and then the second one, he kind of dodges. Ducks out of the way. Uh, Benjamin, your turn. My turn, you say? You know what? I shall fire again. I aim and I fire again. Why are you so southern all of a sudden? Oh. I hit. I did. I did one damage. I oh, cry. Nice. I weep. Man. <laughs> you hit him. He doesn't even notice. I'm but ready to fire the, again. The audience, they're not booing you guys anymore. And they stopped cheering for him. They're kind of just watching in silence. I right walked now. up. I also walked up a bit. Okay. Jack, your turn. With your glowing blue sword. Oh, I you can. You can. I have 30. Wait, no. Yep. If he goes around, he can, yeah, he can breach it if he goes around us. Okay, so Jack runs up here and third, third climbs the charm, tries to hit him with his katana. Third time is not a charm. You swing, but he sees that you were running up, and he just dart like like a boxer duck under the way. Come on, on Jack! Man, you, you used to be so much better than this. What happened to the Jack that stormed the Marine outpost? Look, when you sleep for a week, you, your muscles need to catch up. You don't sleep. That's why we don't sleep for okay, unarmed strike weights. I don't know. Do stretches when you wake sure. up. So you try to stab him with the dagger. He dodges out of the way, but then he doesn't see your fist coming. And you just sock him on the face. The, like, dagger. Sure, it? the dagger was a feint. It was a feint. Now it's Fuller's turn. Oh, yeah. I... Dash over, run over, run over here, and again, I try and throw. I just try and sock him with a punch, missing. I try to punch him again, but uh, again, now those that muscles are building. He catches it uh, every time. Axio, your turn. Yeah, okay. If you shoot, it's at it's at disadvantage. Actually, Axia is 10 feet away from the Circus Master. No, they're not. Uh huh. From Axia to the Circus Master is 10. Axia is right in front Axia. of him. That's from, a, that's from a block behind Axia. Oh. Yeah. Isn't Axia better from a range anyway? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Axia is like a I'm 35 feet away from the queen. Yeah, you can just back uh, up. That does not. Oh, joke doesn't. I jump back like two. Which which give I have some gives me an opportunity. How does he have an opportunity to attack? Mona is in front of him. Mona's not. Oh, Mona, Mona and Axia like... were inside of each other. Does that sound good? I don't think Ash gonna like that sentence. I thought yeah. so. I haven't seen Axio right appearing. here, and Mona was here. No, I, I did not no, see Mona. I've seen Axio and Mona were inside of each other. Please stop saying that. This is an audio Mona, product. It's, it's yeah, they were layered. Hard is, but that shouldn't have been a thing. But he does an opportunity to attack. Nine. He misses. He misses. He misses. Game, you miss. Mona just steps in front of the way and blocks it for you. Grab my gun. Oh, you son of a bitch. Not one. <laughs> you shoot Mona in the back. <laughs> right after right after Mona's like, I swear to God, if you shoot me. <laughs> see ya! You seven say, damage. You say seven you damage say. to Mona. <laughs> Why? Mona, it's just a seven, by the way. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> This master's turn. 
Uh, actually, boat. maybe don't use a musket when someone's in the way. Uh, I, I, it's, it's not the first time someone's been in the way. Just to ask me, he's like, where do you think you're going? And you see bef- his previously uh, shaved face. He says, circus, circus, or circus fruit. Circus, circus for bearded lady. <laughs> it's and gonna be a giant beard hair. just blows out of him and tries to grab you and squeeze. So, that 16 to it. Okay. Yep. So, make a strength save. Oh, and you take 11 damage. You actually succeed. So, the hair starts trying to squeeze you. But you managed to break the, break the hair and not be restrained. He also takes um, damage. He did take a weapon damage. Cadence turn. Two swings. Both miss. So he tries to swing. He tries to swing both of his swords at the same time. But the circus master kind of just like sidesteps out of the way. Man, Caden, you're not doing nearly as good as you were on that other island. <laughs> yeah, it's because I don't hate this guy as much. It's almost like we got an ally, and they got weaker because they joined. <laughs> Benjamin, it's your turn. Okay, okay, you know what? I don't want to do this one, okay. As he just slowly reaches his hand out, it's glowing an ominous purple. Okay. Vandal! Ah! Try to reach for him, but kind of hesitate. He's looking to the side, like, I don't want to see, I don't want to see, I don't want to see. And since you're not really trying at full potential, he just easily dodges out of the way. Jack, it's your turn. Right, well, I still have the smite active, yeah? Yeah, the one smite minute is still active. Alright, well, let's, let's see if I finally land a hit. Uh, Jack <laughs> swings his katana at the guy again. No! Oh my god, Jack, you didn't have a single time. It. <laughs> it's always you happens when I start a thing. I, for the first session, my rolls are just absolutely terrible. You swing and you just completely go too high. He's like, man, whose side is this guy on? <laughs> no, no, it's your turn. Do we oh, need shit. a new swords person? Again, I am recovering from my nap. Don't do what you have <laughs> to do. Well, Aiden's just kind of traveling with us. Are you part of our crew? Do you want to be part of the crew? Or are you just going to be a traveling companion? You asking this as we're doing this? Like, yeah, we're fighting there's this nothing like cloud. making bonds in the heat of battle, Fuller. He's too like, busy. I mean, he just kind of ignores you or doesn't hear you. We'll see. The dagger hits him five damage. So this time he thinks that you're gonna faint with the dagger again. But this time you just stab him. <laughs> but he knows that the fist is coming and he manages to block it. Fuller, your turn. I do the thing I've been doing. Go for a punch. It hits. Well, I, just, it. I sock him right, just right upside the head this time. You sock him and his head rears back. And... It looks like it hurt pretty bad. Axia, it's your turn. Okay. Ooh, let's try this one more time. You try uh, to shoot and it almost hits Mona again, but she dodges out of the way. And then you miss everyone. <laughs> now it's the circus master turn again. I can't move back first. Yeah, you can. It is better if I'm more farther away. I can shoot better! You hear in your ear with static. I swear to God, this, this is not <laughs> my fault. I don't know what happened. Rambling on about. Before, I, I couldn't. Just... They couldn't. Okay, yesterday, I couldn't stop killing with things. Now I can't. He puts his fist together and he says, Circus, Circus Fruit, strongest man alive! Oh, and he tries to punch die. Benjamin. Oh no! That actually reaches over my armor class. 
Oh no! Fifteen. Seventeen damage. Ah, as you see a blue field shatter. Uh, and then he bends down again and then he lunges seven. back towards Axia. It's and he says, Circus, Bubba. Circus Fruit. Human Cannon. Bubba. Yeah. It's only 15. Yeah. That's 22. That's 26. Yeah, that was. Good. <laughs> Left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 15. No. You're right, you're right, you're right. So eight. Oh, that. That hurt a little bit. You and want... he lunges back towards Axia. Stop going after the. Yeah, I won't feel sorry about what I do next. Caden <laughs> uh, can't reach him, so he's just gonna run as close as he can get. Benjamin, your turn. It's my turn. You know what? <laughs> it's right here. Um... And now you guys notice that the crowd is actually like. A few, like a minority, is actually cheering for you guys. Benjamin runs up. He's like, okay, time to do this again. Wrist mount pops up, and then three missiles fly out at this guy. 14 damage. Nice. The missiles hit. He wasn't really paying attention to you. So he didn't see it coming, and they just all hit him in the back. I'm gonna punch you in the face for that punch. <laughs> Jack, it's your turn. Bluefield, yeah, hold on back. a sec. Right, I know what I'm gonna do now. So, how far can I go? 30 feet. Right, I'm gonna. Jack runs over here. And since he's too far to stab the weird circus guy, he. he just kind of stabs the air in front of him and shoots a bolt of lightning at the guy. So you kind of like stab your sword into the ground? And... No, no he, he uses the sword to shoot the lightning out of the tip of it. Okay, so the you like point the sword and lightning just the blue just the blue lightning just comes out and hits him. Would you yeah. look at that? You're finally waking up. You did something. Roll damage. Uh, click the witch's bolt name. Click the word. There we go. Ooh, nice. Doesn't that give advantage on the next attack too? Or is that something else? You can click show spell description. Uh, or probably can just look at it yourself. You did something. Oh. Finally. I don't think it does that though. It doesn't. Yeah, that's guiding bolt. I think or, or it something is. else. It's guiding yeah. bolt. Oh, it's it's a sustained thing. I think. It is, yeah. It's like a constant thing. Which ball, yada yada. Okay, concentration up to one minute, blah blah blah, and hit a target takes 12 minutes each of your turns in addition, you started. Oh, if you do that, then you're gonna lose your smite on your sword. Yeah, I'm fine with that. The, so the blue leaves your sword and just flies towards him. Mm-hmm. You're doing something, finally! It looks <laughs> like you're finally you see awake. That still, you see that he's still, like, spazzing with electricity? <laughs> you know what? Since Bozo and Axie are is there, I'm gonna kick you, Bozo, and then Axia, once we've had to leave this place, you're gonna get kicked next. What did I do? So you kick him in like a blast of compressed air and just cuts him straight just through the big Bozo left thigh. And his left thigh just gets tore up. Hold on, it's your turn. He's Polar is going to go back, grab a white pill, pop it, and then run in front, run here, and then, like, as he's running, grab a dagger and try and swipe at him. Okay. <laughs> so you accidentally trip with your newfound speed and accidentally stab Axia, roll damage. <laughs> oh, Lowest damage. damage. Axia. I see that as an absolute win. <laughs> Uh, now, actually, it's your turn. Minus six. Look, I'm totally low. Uh, Don't you oh. unironically have the largest amount of health? Yes. So, 
he has 50, which is crazy. He, he has a D10, he's a ranger. True. Yeah. First, I look at Fuller. <sighs> Sorry, God, tunnel vision. I didn't yeah. see you there. <laughs> Wear glasses. Walked right into that Imperial ambush, didn't you? Well, <laughs> glasses aren't going to help when I'm moving faster than I've ever moved. <laughs> Fuck this gun. And then just go and try to scratch his eyes up. <laughs> okay. That hits. You, you kind of, you're like scratching at his face when he's spazzing out with electricity. Does the hunter's mark still do damage with your claws? I don't think so. I think hunter's mark. Uh, Click it. Uh, uh, as much as you mark creatures, then. That for one hour until you mark another creature, you don't, you don't have disadvantage on ranged weapon attacks and long range. Oh. Once return, you hit a marked target with weapon, you, you can, with a weapon, attack. So, yeah, he can just do it. Okay. Yeah. So, how much damage is that? Right. And uh, it's seven. Is, uh, eleven? It's eleven. No. That's, oh, is it? That's twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Oh. Quick math. Um, yeah. also, apparently, you don't get disadvantage for ranged requirements with your gun. Yeah, but you still, you still get it if you're too close. Okay, so the circus master. Um, he's. What do I want to do? Fuck it. Oh well. That's scary. Um. <laughs> never want to hear you say fuck it. Okay. He's, his legs, he bends down again, and he says, Circus, circus, fruit, human cannon! And he goes... One, two, three, four... He goes over here past Caden, and then he's like, Circus, circus, fruit, bearded lady! And his beard grows again, this time going towards Jack. Question. Is... Okay. Is his circus circus fruit human cannon a bonus movement action? Yeah. Okay. Also, is, is this fruit a paramecia, a logia, or it's a paramecia? It's, a paramecia. Yeah. it's not a logia because we've been hurting him, and none of us have. No, I, 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 I meant zone, not logia. It's a, mythical, it's a mythical zone. It's the human human fruit model circus god. No. It's a <laughs> circus god. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh, well, I've been told I've deleted in like four minutes. That's nice. That's yeah. fine. For how long? So yeah, the, the beard attack misses. They didn't, look, okay. but didn't do anything. Right. I also just punched my mic on accident. Well, I've been told I'm going to a birthday party. To slash him twice. They're going to be gone for the rest of the day. Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> we were That's... gone for several hours. Nothing about to get out of here. Oh, oh, okay then, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the NPC finished everything off. It doesn't finish it off. That's uh, 15 plus 25 for this guy 40 has. damage. Enough. Okay. Enough. Right, okay, that's just 23 because that's not natural. He slashes like an X mark across his chest. And the crowd starts yelling. Hearing. The crowd! You guys. They love us! Benjamin, it's your turn. I won't feel sorry for this, you psychopath! Ah! Ominous purple. Fuck! Well... You try to reach again, but you still don't want to. You I don't just don't want like to. it. I don't, but I need to! So, you hesitate for like a millisecond, and that gives him enough time to... Dodge out of the way. I know what I need to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to Jack, do it. Jack, your turn. <laughs> uh, do I need to roll uh, to hit to, to like sustain the? What do you think is Kylo's Which really bolt? spin? Uh, no. Well, then, no at it. Lance is out towards a creature. And... I'm gonna oh, use it's... it again and just roll the damage. Each of your turns for the duration, you can use your action to do a d20. Alright, so you just do- you just- Yeah, throw a d12. Okay. 
can swallow. Eight, nine it damage. Did. Oh, funny. Nine damage. The okay. hit doesn't matter. So the lightning is still going through him, and he spazzes for a second again. Mona! He's looking pretty hurt. Kick him! Oh, hit him! Do something! <clears throat> I hope it isn't set up. I just realized that my health, I've been, I've been managing. <laughs> okay. Um, roll a one, roll a D2. Okay. So instead of you stabbing Caden, you trip, and your knife just goes flying out of your hands 20 feet. Or it could have just broke. Here. I mean, it could have, but... It's just sad. Actually, roll a 1d100. Oh, God. You're, you're doing your percentile that to see how bad this fuck up is. Yeah, no, it just, it just flies 20 feet. But, like, it's your turn. Right, I have a plan. I'm gonna run all the way around. Okay, the, hit, the, the punch hits. Yeah, yeah that hits. Yeah, that hits. Do the damage quick. Oh, okay. Cool. What is his hack? What is his hack? Hacky? Wait, don't question it. I know. Anyways, Fuller's just gonna run here, turn here, make another turn. At this turn, he's gonna pop a red pill. Gonna pop this pill. Red pill. Hit okay. here and. Try and kick this guy as hard as he can. Why isn't it green? Because green's for health. But duh. But how? Oh. So as you do this elaborate movement, moving I mean, and running around everybody, you miss. I, I miss. I miss my you elaborate. Try it again, and I missed. The missed. Punch. Uh, Mona, teach me how to do this, please. Now it's his turn. He's going to try to punch Benjamin. How dare you! Does circus sit the fruit? Ow! 22 and 20. He can tw attack twice? Yeah. Yeah. He's been attacking he twice this whole that? time. He's been, he's been, he's been, he's been doing this this whole time. He's been doing two of these. Okay. That's all about my turn. I've been skipped. No, you didn't. Yeah, he, well, he was. Dragon must skip. Okay, well, I guess your turn is after this. Ow! My force! Okay. Who did he hit? Me! Twice! He hit Benjamin. Ow! What is that, 21 damage? Yeah, that's 21 damage minus 8. Okay. Okay, actually, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. Oh! Man, right, if I had to get... put it in words, I'm feeling like I'm halfway there, man. Uh, uh, I'm living on a prayer right now. <laughs> okay. You shoot him, and it goes through all of your allies. Barely. That I hits. have the highest hell armor class. Uh, what what's, what's Benji's armor class? 19. 19. Oh. Twenty. Yeah, okay. You shoot him, and he's—he's he's looking like he can't continue this too much longer. Okay. And you—you you just shoot him through the chest, just barely like a few inches away from his heart, and he spits out blood. Caden's turn. Caden's turn. You fat bastard. 18 and 19. Um, I'm probably going to kill him considering it's a DMVZ damage. Oh, I didn't move, so I was done. Uh, 20. 20 and 17, uh, 37 damage. 37. Okay. Uh, paper does have the quick math figured out. <laughs> paper is good at math. Is. I'm so over here counting okay. my fingers. Benjamin, it's your turn. My turn. Man, I'm really 
living on a prayer here. Okay. You know what? Oh. Ah! Ah! It just in the, the is this time so you just yell out and just go ah! for it. It's gl hand glowing and touching. ominous purple. How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh no. So, God. you see, <laughs> Benjamin, he's very, he's very, he's very hurt right now. He, he yep. opened up blood, but you see, like, Flicker in his eyeball, and then just serious face. Boom! Just right through the chest, holding his heart out, like, to the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom style, as it's just melting into the blood, like, red blood cells, just blood and tissue in his hands. You basically just, like, melt a chasm in his chest. And, like, I rip out his heart and just that melts as well. All of the crowd just starts flooding into the center, just like lifting you guys up and cheering. What, what happened? They're, they're all like, Wait, what? We're finally free! Why is my hand bloody? What did I do? <laughs> uh, you, Good job. You, you killed your first man. You, you fucking murdered him. Well... If, if we didn't come to a circusism and act like we enjoyed it, we would have been... We would have been part of Axe. <laughs> That's my life Just like now. The rest of those people. It was rather unfortunate we were unable to stop it in time. We so saved that one. All... We saved that one guy. I think who was getting about to get beaten by lions. You did. You did say one guy. We saved him. So basically, if you don't come to his circuses and enjoy it, and like put on a show that he wants to, then you were part of Axe. No, I have a question for and... you all. Where is Barry? Who? who do, wh wh you want money? No, I want, I want to know where the guy who owns the general store is. I need foods. He came here to get supplies. It was, play, paper, paper. it was a play on Dollar General. No. Barry is money, paper. I get it. What? <laughs> it has been looking for someone and then Barry doesn't buy a brick. It's all a didn't bit of a lie. Is that a Dollar General joke? No, I didn't. I didn't catch it either. No, no I didn't for obvious reasons. Also, Barry is yeah. a name. You didn't say belly when you. It's not because it's not belly, it's Barry. It's, it's Barry called belly. belly sometimes, it's Barry usually. Barry D. Brick. Yeah. There's a lot. Well, you know, Very I just work. need food. We need food started... and we need supplies. I didn't catch that yeah, because you well... said it like it was a name, pretty much. Yeah, we're off the body. Whatever you want, you're our saviors. Axia. And as this is Life's going body. on, what's everyone's passive perception? Passive perception, uh, mine's 11. Uh, 12. 18. 18. Yeah, Dragon is a plus 5. Okay. Axia. Oh. You notice that someone's walking through the entrance of the the tent, straight to, uh, straight to the center. I just, I guess I I had no fire, but uh. Whoa! Uh, oh, check Axia. Oh, uh, watch out. Perception or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can't really make make out too much. All you can really make out is that he's wearing all white, and he has oh, a no. coat around him. Uh, oh wow! I, 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 I just signaled over. I, I think I think there's a very gun. Does he have a mask? No. I think a marine captain is coming. Right. If anybody asks, we did nothing. Mona, you look over after Axia tells you this, and as he approaches. You recognize him. Let me DM you. Well, who's ready for the silence factor for the next five minutes? Because it's a mute. Jesus, what do you have against mutes? I don't. It's just silence. And you say that like it's a bad thing. It's not. So he just keeps walking close, and all the people recognize him as a Marine. He's wearing a coat that says Justice. And he has, like, gold, like, 
gold coming off of like his shoulders. Are you an admiral? A cap? Are you higher than now a that, captain? Are you a now that he's close, you see that he's really pale. He's white. He's wearing white gloves. And as he he gets like 20 feet with in front of y'all, and then he just stops. And then all you see is him put his hand over his mouth with the glove on, and he just starts... <laughs> <laughs> he just coughs for like a solid sick? two minutes. Need help? Need medicine? And now that you can see it, like his face, he looks like he hasn't slept in a few days. He has big dark circles under his eyes. He looks like he's sick. You want a nutrient pill? You want medicine? Want some healing serum? It's got uh, a bunch of vitamin C. Benjamin, as you say this, before you can even react... He kind of just like in one step he lunges towards you, oh, punches. Me. Oh. Okay. What does he do? Um, Punch. Hold on, I don't want to do the attack because I'll say his name. Uh, you troll the thing normally. I think you know the bonuses and how much. Natural twenty. Oh, he's out. So I don't even need to roll damage. So basically, he punches you. Why and there's me? like air, air just like comes from the back and like blows all of y'all back. And then he he puts his fist back and Benjamin just falls to the floor, blood coming out of his mouth. You don't see that. Then, there's a mask up. True. Okay, fair enough. I turned that on the second around. so Axia said someone's coming. Why me? And then he looks around. He glances at all of y'all. He glances at Fuller, and then Caden, and Axia. He stops for a second for Axia. He looks at Mona. He coughs again. <laughs> Long time no see. I'm gonna need you all to <laughs> come with me. What did he say? I need you all oh, to come with me. <laughs> Fuller, help! help. <laughs> Playing <laughs> dumb. And he walks over to Mona. He takes off his glove. <laughs> and he touches Mona on the shoulder. Mona, roll a constitution check. Or oh. save, not check. Roll a con save. Fuller! Okay. And as he touches Mona, half of Mona just turns to solid gold. I, uh, and she falls to the floor. What? I, very I, 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 I just dropped my weapons hands up. I was... So he's very... Oh, I was thinking God. he'd have like a plague ability, but his whole sick motif is not indicative of his abilities. Because he has Midas Touch. As his name is Vice Admiral Midas. Guys, help. And a <laughs> bunch of Marines man. come by. Are you all Fuller. surrendering? Or are you, right. you going to try to fight? Can I try intimidation? No. <laughs> sure, roll an intimidation check. <laughs> a 20, okay. Ice so, is gone. You know what? The Vice Admiral is relatively in phase, but all the other Marines are kind of like avoiding you. They put handcuffs on Benjamin. They put handcuffs on Axia. Mona is petrified, but they also put handcuffs on Mona. Also, um, you see a green little line pop up for a split second. (laughs) Oh god, that hurt. Thank you, suit. So all of you are shackled. (laughs) Benjamin, you feel like all of your strength is leaving your body, like you can barely even move. What did you do to me? It hurts. He pushed you in the gut. He didn't even hit me as he handed me. <laughs> and he leads you all to a massive marine warship. And he loads you all on board. No, I knew that ship was ominous. There's a different ship. 
My Ben yeah. Timo <laughs> That's the first the, the circus ship. And you guys, you can't really tell, but it feel it could be hours, it could be days, it could be Did weeks. I just lose the Benji mobile. It's like all <laughs> darkness, and eventually <laughs> you guys are all put into cells, and everything around you is basically all solid gold. Man, you really just don't know. We're not allowed to do anything, huh? Yeah, what can mm, we do? Could have. I know, but you didn't leave any room. You're just like, and you're you, there. You... It's been hours. Okay, you're there so... now. Axia is in a separate cell. Mona is in a separate cell. Um, and the rest of us yeah, are just chucked much in a room. Yeah, the rest of y'all are put in the same cell, but you're all like next to each other. What? Why? Oh, if we stole this, we'd be rich. Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> but to do that is going to be very difficult. Then you hear coughing from down the hall and footsteps, and then you see it's the, the vice admiral that just arrested you guys. And he looks at you guys and he's like, "Bold gold, stay away." Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we have a record for four of you guys. I don't know about the rest. We'll have to <clears throat> look into that. What record? What are you talking about? One of you is one of the live. You have a visitor coming. Who? What? Who, what, where, when, and Who's where? wanted alive? What's Bye. going on? Well, now that you've been informed, I have work to do. <laughs> he walks off. Stay away Staff from us! Don't... Stay out, fool's gold! Yeah! We <laughs> know, know for a fact Axia's not the one wanted alive. Who's wanted alive? Interesting. I guess we just sit okay. and wait. Okay. You sit and wait. What are my handcuffs made out of? Sea prison. How would they know? How would who know? When this is? Are we still in sea prison? prison? Okay. Prison yeah. Okay, good. They don't know yet. Good. <laughs> good. Your, your handcuffs look a bit different than mine. No, we all have sea prism. That, that's just, that just sounds like a waste. It is. It does. <laughs> I mean, it is, me. but... The dude can create gold. He's not exactly poor. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Okay, after a few hours, a bunch of marines come along with Fax, the is. vice admiral again. And they open Axia's cell, and they escort you out. Did we get any cups or anything? Oh, they give you a sludge. Like, I'm just banging, I'm just sitting next to the chain, uh, being as annoying as I can be. Like once, like once the Marine who's watching guys just kicks the sun, he's like, shut up! Where's our one free transponder snail? Uh, oh. <laughs> you're all idiots. Just admit, that's not really a thing. Axia. What? It's in the movies. <laughs> what? What is a movie? Okay, so Axia. You get escorted out into a room that looks like an interrogation room. There's a table. You're cuffed to the table and your chair is like bolted to the ground and your legs are also in manacles. You know, and... I can hear. Huh? I can hear. What do you mean you can hear? Technology. Oh, There's, oh, I, I, put so I literally put piece. something into... Uh, it's in Axia. They, they... It's inside of Axia's ear. Oh, true, 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 true. Like an ear. It's probably well. It's okay, it's hidden by my ear. You hear this too, but Axia. The door opens, and you see a familiar face of Doctor Fields. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he walks in. Hey, Wait, hey like, mom. Well, 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 it seems you got yourself into some trouble, my dear. Ah, I've been looking for you. You have? You just had to act up and run away. I, I, I'm so I've missed sorry. You made so many better creations. Ow. They're all much better and more obedient than you. 
Disappointment. How? How? Okay. I, I, sorry, mom. What? I was that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I went with it. Don't worry. I, soon I, enough, you'll be obedient uh, and stronger. Uh, I can do uh, a little bit of work on you. That's all. God, not again. <laughs> it, it's gonna hurt. Please, oh. not gonna hurt. It'll hurt a lot. Uh, uh, but you're poor, right? Uh, I, I, hopefully. Uh, you have to save for yourself. Uh, you disappointed me. It was his idea. I just look around, see like point to anybody. There is no one but Marines. You're in a room separate with her. Yeah. You, you're supposed to be a weapon. I, yeah, it's, it's been pretty hard not trying to kill people. <laughs> I like to hear that, but you're killing the wrong people. I, you don't want to say about being put in very versatile situations. For being honest, I don't really care who you kill. But the Marines, they've been so mad at me because one of my creations escaped. Awful. It's not my fault they suck at watching over me. It just it shows my success. I, I'm able to get in and out pretty easily. Freddy has been yelling at me every day, telling me to get you back, and you just came and wandered right back here. I spent a lot of money putting putting a a wanted poster up on your head. Oh, that explains the poster. And the multiple people going after me. <sighs> well, take him to my lab. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> him? Mr. 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 That's gonna get you. And then canceled. you're escorted to a dark room, laid onto a bed, or you assume it's a bed. Just sitting there waiting. All right, all right, go ahead and interrupt. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? I am here just listening into this, like, oh, oh. what's going on, Ben? Wait, is accident? Yeah, don't respond. Are you are you alone in the room? Alone? Do it is do it. For yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get out of this somehow. Also, Bobo, this doesn't feel like a session two. This feels like a session like fifteen. It does. <laughs> but no, we had to start in the grand line. Okay, we have we have little options. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I really do have to go soon. Okay, this, don't say anything about this. Just, just go. <laughs> Do that if you want to talk. Okay. Fireside mode comes back by. Stay away, fool's mm. gold! You're alive! He looks at Benjamin. He looks at Benjamin and he's like, Your family has been notified. Oh, come on, man. Really? <laughs> it sounded... <laughs> Quite disappointed. Well, of course they they ditched me to go to stoop. They ditched me to stay on that stupid outpost. And then Grandpappy came along, and then what happened? I'm now a criminal because some drunk marines. I knew I shouldn't. He walks left. over, and he looks at Jack, and he's like, "You just have a small bounty for going after a marine base." You'll go to court and have trial. You yeah, well, I'll do it again. Uh, you're not going to be doing anything. Then he walks over to Mona's separate cell. He's like, Mona, long time. No see. Fredrickson is... Frederick. will be here shortly. 
Everyone can roll a history check if they want. I will roll a history check. I am... That's a five. Fredrickson. The name seems familiar. Fred Fredrickson no doesn't is. really sound familiar for any of y'all. Fredrick. Fred. Frederick McLean, that guy from that book. But no. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You guys wait. I take a cup two hours. and then go in the back. I put a bunch of grease in it. Because I just, I have oil. And my suit okay. can't be taken off. Easy enough. Not so loud. I put oil. Fill a cup with a little bit of oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you guys hear more footsteps coming to you. <laughs> Mona, you, you get a quick glimpse. And you see... But, 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 a while we were face. in the downtime, I did the oil cup. And I did a little, yeah. little bit of... A little bit of what? A little bit of fire, you know. You know. Okay, so there's just a flaming cup in yourself? Yes. I'm huddled around it like a homeless man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My hey, girl, the last one I'm back of, to. Of you know, it's, it's been hard. It's been and hard in this. Is that a new but person? As, you gotta help you me out, man. Him, I, I'm innocent. He's walking towards you. I swear. You all hear and feel a large that. explosion. Coming from outside, and you hear all the footsteps. There's people just start scrambling, and Mona, right after you meet eyes with Frederick, he gives you a, he shakes his head at you, and then he turns around and starts walking away to go see what the commotion is. What are the bars made out of? Gold. Well, gold actually has a pretty low melting point. <laughs> Yeah, we're not hot enough just for flaming oil to melt. I know. Melt. Oh, just my look. good old. Good old. <sighs> the guard who was watching y'all, whenever Fredrickson was about to walk in, he was standing up saluting, but now that he turned off and Who left, is that guy? He's like, he, he goes up to you guys' cell, and he's like, he's, Did you guys do this? Do what? Who, who's attacking? I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you talking different? I've been inside the hole for too long. You and you've been you there guys... for like five minutes. <laughs> I don't the know. Bars, I think. young man. <laughs> you guys all see that there's a ring of keys on his belt. Come here. Can I see the what? face of a man who has seen me outside? What are you talking about? I throw the boiling <laughs> oil into his face and grab the keys. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, since he's close to the cell, sure, and you don't need to really need to I mean, I was going to gonna do something it. a lot less lethal, but okay. <laughs> it's not. It's not hot enough to kill him. It's just hot enough to disfigure him. Really in pain <laughs> as his face is just boiling off. Okay. You managed to grab the keys. I grab the, the keys. Bar. I inject them with the green fluid. Okay. You'll be all right. It was just some pain. But it's all just in the name of science. It's not Frederick. Um, Benjamin, you can barely move right now. <laughs> I take the keys off. But I'll still alive, just because I forgot. <laughs> My boiling oil. <laughs> So as you're, it's, it's kind of hard to, hard to do it, but because you guys are hearing pretty much constant explosions, and the entire place is shaking. Why did I do that? Why am I? What's wrong with me? I keep doing stuff and blanking. What's going on? I, I had a plan to get the keys without killing the guy. He's not dead. He's just asleep. His face is dead. No, it's not. It's healed. The goop. It's still a little melty. So it's sort of, it'll be fine. He has the goop. He's fine. This man's never gonna get laid again in his life. 
Oh, all I needed was him to get like a few inches close and I would have shocked the bars. This metal con metal conducts electricity very well. You would have heard us too! Look, it's a small price to pay. The whole cell is made of gold. You know, we're out. Let's go. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you've got a suit on. I do. And I'm not weak, and I don't get hurt by electricity. Now, like, okay, Mona, come on. Hey. Easy enough, you free everyone. Uh, so are you guys just running to the exit, wherever that may be. Well, don't we need to get our stuff? You don't know where it is. I still have all my Actually, stuff. Actually, they didn't really take. They didn't really take your stuff. They didn't really take anything. We lost Benji Mobile. They threw me in the cell with three swords. Yeah. Axio, where are you? This is kind of just a holding cell, and you were restrained, and they weren't really worried about Axio it. Axio, say something. Where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're, just, we're just gonna be running looking for Axie. Well, I suppose as you guys escape your imprisonment, that's where we end. Okay, that's it. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> and man, today was Bless certainly you. interesting. <laughs> but what's what's going on with Benji? He keeps doing stuff and forgetting he's he's doing it. <laughs> He even got Why? some information about Axia. What is Axia? A homunculus abomination that needs to be put to death? A yes. living <laughs> weapon? <laughs> What's this about Mona being a wow. part of the Marines? We also learned something about his parents. <laughs> They're in the Marines, apparently. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. And Allegedly. apparently he left town and some drunk Marine thought he thought he did something. According to the people. So yeah, today, today was interesting. Let's leave it at that. Oh, anyway, thank you all for watching. And the intro will be queued now. Hello there and welcome to the outro. If you made it this far, congratulations, you've reached the end card. Have a cookie. And now that you've had your cookie, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. And then click that little notification bell to get updated whenever we upload. And then you get more cookies the more you watch. Have fun. Enjoy your next video that should be up here right in this left corner. Bye-bye. <laughs>